Danielle J and today I'm here with my November TBR for 2019. If you are new to this channel then you don't know this but my mom actually picks my TBR every month and has a weird theme to go along with it each time. This month's theme, not very weird but she's very excited about it. So without further ado, let us get started. So like I said, her theme this month is not very exciting. It's just second books in series. There's just so many series on my shelves that I've started and just haven't continued on with it just because I get distracted and move on to other things. So she specifically picked out six series that she wants me to continue on with. So the first one that she picked was Second Grave on the Left by Dorinda Jones. This is the Charlie Davidson series and it's basically about a female Grim Reaper. I read the first book last month and I gave it a 1 out of 5 stars. I really did not like it. It was just very problematic. Not a fan. But we picked this one so we're gonna read it. I'm actually like 20 pages in so far and it's a lot better than the first book so I don't know if it was because it was the author's debut so maybe that's why. This one's so far 20 pages in better but that being said, it's 20 pages in, so it could go downhill. We don't know. The next one that she chose was Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass, second book in Throne of Glass. I loved Throne of Glass. I think I gave it a 4.5 or a four. I can't remember which, but it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. The only thing with these books is that they take so long to get through just because like the writing is so teeny tiny and I just have a lot of stuff going on in my life with school and work and basketball, all that stuff. These books take very long time to get through, but we're gonna try to do it this month. Next one you guys will all be very excited about because you guys have been bugging me to continue on with this series forever. It is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix by JK Rowling. All of you say that this is the best one out of all of them. A lot of you say that this is one of your favorites out of the seven of them. The most hated Harry Potter characters introduced, something like that. So hopefully we get to this. Hopefully I can film a vlog for it as well. I'm hoping to get to this one, but I do have a lot of schoolwork, so I don't know if that will actually happen. The next one is probably the one that I'm personally most excited for. It is Fire by Kristen Kishore. This is the second book in the Graceling trilogy. I loved Graceling. It was one of my favorite books in 2018 when I read it. This one is a chonker. Actually, a lot of the books that she chose this month are chonkers, so hopefully we can get through it and hopefully read all of them, but like I said, not very high hopes. Next book is The Treatment. This is by Suzanne Young. This is the second book in the program series. I believe that this still follows Tori and James from the first book, but I heard from Tori from Medusa Reads, you guys should check her out, she's great, that the third and fourth books in the series follow like completely different characters, so I mean intrigued. I really liked the first book. I gave it a 4.5. I liked it a lot more than I thought I was originally going to, so hopefully we like this one the same amount, but Tori said it's not the best. And then the final book that she picked, another chonker. It is Gemina by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. This is the second book in the Illuminae Files. I think I gave the Illuminae Files a 3.5. I think it was just so overhyped in my mind because I got it like two years after it was released, a year after it was released, not sure which. It was so overhyped in my mind because everybody gave it 5 out of 5 stars that I think I was just like underwhelmed by it just because of the hype. But people do say that the second and third book in the series is way better than the first book, so we'll see what I think of it, but I'm actually really excited. I think that the whole outline of the book and like the mixed media, multimedia stuff is really cool. I personally love books with that, so hopefully we like this one as well. All right, everybody, that was my November TBR for 2019. I seriously have no idea if any of these are gonna be read. I've been reading a lot of graphic novels to try to keep my numbers up. I guess you'll have to see in my wrap up what I actually get through. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye! Yeah.